In this video, we'll be installing an R150 from a 3VZE to an 01617. So, the installation of my adapter kits across the board is very similar. This is just one example I'm going to show you in a video. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our adapter plate, take our dowel pins for the bell housing. We're going to install those into the adapter plate. Make sure they're perpendicular to the plate. To get them started, then you can tap them in. That'll ensure that they're solidly seated in the steel plate and it'll help the bell housing slide over them and go on true and straight. The next thing you're going to want to do is take something like one of these little plastic scrapers and go over the mating surface on the back of the engine block. Make sure you get all the dirt and grime, any um, sealant that might be on there, like RTV, get all that grease and crud off. Then take some parts cleaner, hose down the back of the block, wipe it off really nice, make sure your dowels are nice and clean. If there's any dirt or grime or anything on there, it can space the adapter plate off and throw your concentricity of your transmission off with your crankshaft. So having a clean block to work with is very important. Next, we'll take the adapter plate, line it up with the dowels. We want to install the plate true to the engine block. So back and forth from each side take a dead blow hammer, help drive it on there, and now we're ready for the installation of our fasteners. Here we'll be using Loctite 243, which is a medium strength thread locker. We got our flat head cap screws. You apply about that much. You can't use too much. Now that we have all the bolts started in the block with the thread locker. We only have 10 to 15 minutes to get them torqued before that starts to set up. So it's okay to use a power tool to get the bolt um, seated down, but you don't want to use this to torque them. We'll use a torque wrench for that. Just using that to speed things up there, but not to torque them. Per your instructions, <clears throat> these get torqued to 40 foot pounds. It always helps to go over something with a torque wrench twice, just in case anything moves the first time you go around. Now the adapter plate is installed. The next thing we need to do is address the crankshaft. For this R150 to OM617 adapter kit, you get a pilot bearing adapter. It looks like this. So this side 
just slides into the crankshaft. This end has a cavity for the factory pilot bearing. And then we have this threaded to a 5 8 coarse thread so you can just run a bolt in there. Bottom the bolt out in the crankshaft and push this adapter out with the impact wrench if you ever want to get that out later down the road. So to install this, the inside of the crankshaft needs to be clean. So we'll take some emery cloth, just clean that out. A little bit of surface rust in there. We just want to get all that rust and dirt and grime out of there so we got a clean surface because we only have a couple thousands of clearance in here. Again, take your parts cleaner, clean that out, then you'll be ready to install that pilot bearing adapter. With this engine, we came across one of the oddball crankshafts that's about 1.366 inches ID. I've only seen about five of these in my lifetime. When you come across one of these crankshafts, the tolerance is all over the place. I do make custom pilot bearing adapters to fit them. Um, in this case, it was a real challenge to install. I had to freeze the pilot bearing adapter, heat up the crankshaft, and I had about three seconds to sprint over here and slide this thing in before it heated up and expanded and I couldn't move it anymore. So I wasn't able to get that on film, so I'm going to show you a clip here of how to install one on a normal engine that you'll typically find. Typically with an OM617, you'll come across two different scenarios with the pilot bearing adapter. One is, the adapter slides right in like so. If that happens, it's too loose for you. You can take a center punch and put a couple dimples along the OD of the adapter. and That'll help stick the part in. You can also get a Loctite bearing glue um, and that'll glue the bearing adapter in. The more common scenario is it'll be very tight and you can drive it in there with a dead blow hammer or if you don't want to do that you can throw this in the freezer and it should just slide in and when it warms up it'll be stuck. And you want it to be stuck in there. You don't want it to slide right in and fall out. So this is actually a smaller crankshaft adapter. This is the size that goes with this engine. So now that we have our pilot bearing adapter installed in this engine, I got the pilot bearing actually started in the adapter. So we'll take socket here, just a little smaller than the ID of the adapter, and we'll drive that pilot bearing down to the bottom of the hole. Next step is going to be installing the flywheel. So I got the flywheel sat on there, you're going to take all your ARP flywheel bolts. Again, Loctite 243. It's a blue, medium strength thread locker. And apply that to all the bolts. Once you get all your ARP bolts started, you can go ahead and use a power tool just to seat them, but not to torque them. These use a 12.16 millimeter drive. Now the next thing we're going to do is number the heads of the bolts. We're going to take a marker. You can look up a 12 point torque pattern 
and we're just going to go around the number. Once you get all the numbers marked on the heads of the bolts, get your torque wrench out, set it to 60 foot-pounds, and then I'll take a breaker bar with a 27 millimeter head, and I'll put that on the front of the engine to keep it from spinning. Now we have a limited amount of time to get this done before that Loctite sets up. We're going to go around twice. It's all about applying an even load so that the flywheel's not being pulled more to one side than the other. So now that the flywheel is torqued on there, we can go ahead and install our clutch. So this is as far as I'm going to go with the installation of uh, the adapter plate. I always like to do the clutch when I have the engine in the truck. Um, clutch installation still just follows the, the Toyota method. Put the clutch on, tighten your bolts in a star pattern. 14 foot pounds, use blue lock type on those bolts as well. Well, that'll wrap things up for us today on the adapter plate installation. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. If you want to check out some OM617 or some TDI parts, go ahead and head on over to doomsdaydiesel.net and check out the store there and find some more technical links as well. Thanks and see you later.